Linda Sand from What's Up Family Home and today I have a new collaboration for you. This is Summer Sides and it's hosted by Vanessa at Vanessa White's Randomness channel and Tamara at Southern Wife Everyday Life on her channel. And they do great food related content, day in the life, just a lot of great content and you definitely need to check out their channels. I'll have them linked below in the description box. I'll have both their channels and I'll also have the playlist link below that you can watch all the other videos and you'll get some great inspiration for some summer sides. They are family favorites. So I'll turn you around and let's get cooking. Okay, we're gonna start out with dessert. This is a grape salad and it's a recipe from Trisha Yearwood. I had this at a potluck. I didn't think I would like it, but I fell in love and it is so, so good. So we start off with a block of cream cheese softened and I just put that in the mixer just for a few minutes and then I'm going to put in the carton of sour cream and mix that up together. But make sure that you mix it slowly because it was just a little bit lumpy for me. Her recipe called for a half a cup of granulated sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar, but this was way too sweet for me. I had to add some sour cream to it, some more than the recipe called for. So I would back off the sugar a little bit if you don't like it too, too sweet. The recipe called for a teaspoon of vanilla, but I couldn't find it until after I mixed it up. So just mix this up really well and let it sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Next is going to be baked beans, and I'm using two cans of pork and beans. I like to add ground beef to my baked beans. And I had a pound of ground beef, but I saved the other half for spaghetti tomorrow. And I'm also going to put in some mustard, about a tablespoon. I'm also going to add some brown sugar. That was probably about a half a cup. I'm using my hands because I can't find any measuring cups around here. And I'm going to also add about a half a cup of ketchup. Okay, I'm going to add some red pepper, some red onion, and some green bell pepper to the beans. Okay, I'm just going to put a lid on it and put it in the oven at about 350 for about an hour. Okay, next is a pasta salad, and I'm using the roasted garlic vinaigrette. It was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. But I cooked the pasta noodles, I cooled them off, and then I added that and stirred it just a little bit to get it mixed up. Now I'm going to add some red and green bell peppers to the pasta. And I'm going to also add in a red onion. I really love onion in this dish. I'm also adding some Parmesan cheese. I didn't have a whole lot left, so I just used what was in my refrigerator. I had the regular Parmesan, and I also had the one that was a little more coarse. I almost forgot the cucumber. We really like it in this dish. And if you've been around a while, you know that I need to add some onion powder to it. And I also added some salt and pepper. So all I want to do is stir it up and then put it in the refrigerator till it's time to eat. Okay, now I'm going to start on my potato salad. I've just got like six white potatoes. Those are my favorite to use. And... It's not potato salad unless you have some dupes. There's no other mayonnaise except dupes. <laughs> so, there's not a recipe. I'm just going to, this is how I always make it. I just use some um, mayonnaise. And I don't like a whole lot of mustard in mine, so I just kind of do a little bit. And I use my own home canned sweet relish. And I know like my sister-in-law and her family, they use the deal. So I try when I cook it, when I make it, I usually try to make two different ones, but we're making it for here. So I'm going to put my 
sweet relish in there. And stir that around. I've drained the potatoes and cooled them off slightly, but I like to use to put the everything in there when they're slightly warm and that, that way they absorb all the flavors better. I've tried just rinsing them off and cooling them off and I just don't think it tastes as good. But in a pinch, if you're hungry, you can do that too. So now I'm gonna add some onion and celery. I used the rest of the onion left over from the pasta salad and I chopped up some celery. Sometimes I put celery in and sometimes I don't, but it gives it a good crunch. I also put some pepper. And I also like to put a little bit of seasoned salt in there. It also has like a celery type of taste. And if I can find my paprika, I'll put that over the top. Probably before I serve it. So that's it for the potato salad. I'll put that in the refrigerator and let that sit and hang out. Okay, so now I'm gonna make some freezer slaw. I think this would be perfect to take on a cookout because it doesn't contain mayonnaise. So it's a great slaw. And this is two thirds cup of sugar, one third cup vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar you want. I've got a third of a cup of water. I've got a teaspoon of celery seed and a teaspoon of mustard seed. And I just boiled that and then I took it off the heat. I'm gonna let it cool. I sliced up the cabbage. I didn't shred it. I like it that way better. And you can freeze this for three or four months. Make it now and then on the 4th of July, you'll have your slaw ready and just take it out of the freezer and thaw it. So I'm just gonna let this sit here. When that gets a little bit cooler, I'll pull it, I'll pour it over the, the cabbage and it'll marinate for a couple of hours. Okay, I've got a green and a red pepper in here. I usually put carrots in there, but I'm just gonna leave it, make it simple today. And I'm going to pour the, the vinegar mixture over the coleslaw, all over the cabbage. Just stir it. It doesn't look really liquidy. The cabbage will sweat out some liquid and it'll just make it even better. And I'm also going to put onion in there. I forgot all about that. This stuff will freeze well, so you wanna make a whole lot. But since it's just the two of us, I didn't wanna make a whole, whole lot for right now. And I would love to make it with my own cabbage when it comes in. It's still out there in the garden, so hopefully this will be the last one with the store-bought cabbage. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it set a couple of hours. And I also added some salt and pepper. And you can also freeze this and when you thaw it out, you could add mayonnaise to it. It's just very versatile. I'm gonna make some corn on the cob. I'm gonna put salt and pepper and butter. And then I'm just gonna wrap it up in the foil and put it in the air fryer to cook. I tried making these eggs for the first time in the air fryer. They might have came out okay in the air fryer, but when I took the peels off, it just didn't work out very much. So I thought, I'm not going to show you that process. So they didn't really get done enough for me also. So I'll just show you how I made them. I took the egg yolks and I just mashed them up in a bowl and I just add mayonnaise and mustard. Sometimes I'll add some relish, but most of the time it's just mayonnaise, mustard, salt, and pepper. Okay, our grape salad. 
wood has been in the refrigerator setting up so I'm gonna take some chopped pecans and just put it over the top I think this is one of my favorite parts about this grape salad is the nuts it just makes it really good so I always add a lot extra doesn't that look good it's like the fruit dip you get with the cream cheese and it's like you just mix it in with the grapes and eat it like that with the nuts it's so so good it's delicious okay our beans already they came out of the oven just a little bit ago and they're so good especially with the peppers and the onions in there We've got the slaw that has broken down in the refrigerator and is so good and We'll eat on this a couple days and then we'll put it in the freezer and maybe have it for the 4th of July. I've got my corn back there. Instead of putting it in the oven, I put it in the air fryer for 20 minutes and just turned it a couple times and it is delicious. Got my potatoes, got my potato salad here. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, soaking up all those flavors. I've got paprika on there. Can't wait to eat that and the pasta salad and here are my little sad, my little sad eggs they're gonna be delicious and then dessert our grape salad which is delicious i can't wait to eat that i might even eat it first <laughs> but that's our spread now it's time to eat i hope you like these recipes these are really family favorites and these are really family favorites and my family loves them. So I hope you'll like them just as much as we do. I want to thank Tamara and Vanessa for hosting. This was a fun one. I hope if you're coming from another channel and this is your first time watching, I hope you'll like and subscribe and join my YouTube family and be sure to click that notification bell and you'll get notified every time I post a new video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.